if you use the same Facebook Pixel ID or the same Facebook Google Analytics uh, tag on multiple WooCommerce websites, watch this video. There's something you should consider. Uh, every time we send a purchase event, we send something, a parameter called transaction ID for Google Analytics or order ID for Facebook. Google uses this uh, uh, transaction ID parameter to make sure that the conversion or purchase is not recorded multiple times. Uh, Facebook should be able to do the same. I don't have specific data if they do, but they um, accept this parameter and they process it accordingly. Uh, so if the same tag is installed on multiple websites, there is a possibility, there is a chance that um, you will have the same conversion ID or the same transaction ID of multiple times. First time on website one, the second time on website two, and, and so on. Uh, because this ID is generated, generated automatically by uh, WordPress or better say by WooCommerce, uh, it's a number and chances are uh, you will have the same numbers on different websites. To avoid this problem, uh, we added a small new feature inside our plugin. Go to the WooCommerce uh, tab inside Pixel Your Site and uh, look for this option right here, transaction ID. And you can add um, a prefix, every, everything you want, and then save. I already have something there. And um, after you add a prefix, save. This will make sure that uh, the transaction ID will be unique for each website. Now, um, if you have different tags on every website that you own, you don't need to think about this. And actually, I do recommend to have different tags, different Facebook pixels, different Google Analytics on every website that you have. Uh, but sometimes it makes sense to have uh, maybe the same tag on uh, some websites if they're very, very um, closely related or um, like a global tag on multiple websites along individual tags. It so, will help you with Google Analytics. If you want to see information about each transaction, you can create um, a report like this one. And well, I, I'm not going to show you how to create these kind of reports because uh, it's a lot of... Uh, um, stuff to explain and this is not the right video uh, but as you can see you have the transaction ID and uh, you have um, the revenue and for example here I have the campaign or the referral uh, information so this can be pretty useful if you want to understand more about how your uh, transactions are for example generated if they came from an ad or if they came for, from Google or for something else. Um, on Facebook, in theory, you should be able to see the transaction ID, but it's not that easy. Actually, if you go uh, on purchase, um, or, uh, recent activities, well, this is a demo tag, I don't have any recent activity, uh, and you move your um, mouse over the event, you will see the parameters, but Facebook removes custom parameters. They don't show them at all uh, here, or if they um, are standard parameters like order ID, they uh, show the data, but in this case it's encoded. So you won't be able to see the actual order ID. So on Facebook, it doesn't help that much, but at least in theory, they will use the order ID to duplicate uh, orders or they should be able to do it. Uh, Google does it. Google explicitly, explicitly um, tells us that you should have a unique transaction ID with each uh, purchase event. So uh, it makes a lot of sense to have it like this for Google. Uh, that's it. So uh, small feature, maybe you don't need it, but if you have the same tag ID on various WooCommerce websites, consider using it.